the Watch Legend Ethical Gypsy. How are you guys doing? Well, I'll tell you. Every once in a while, I look in the Ethical Gypsy's comment section, and the odd commenter will ask about Anthony Fair. And then they receive a really sarcastic, mean response from the Ethical Gypsy. He'll say, well, that's just schoolgirl stuff. I don't talk about that stuff. That's just schoolgirl stuff. It's just boring stuff. I don't talk about that. And then the comments deleted, and the guy's banned for asking. Oh, well. And that's just the way it goes. So I just figure, well, maybe he says that because they're friends. So the the Ethical Gypsy and Anthony Fair are probably just friends. So I guess that's it. And also, Anthony Fair is also a secondhand watch dealer. So the Ethical Gypsy is always stand up for the secondhand watch dealers, right? So that's what he stands up for. He doesn't. He's against the authorized dealers. And he stands up for the second-hand dealers, especially the authorized Rolex dealers. That's how it works, right? And they're just mass boys and they're friends. And it's the same thing with the baby deer. He's friends with the baby deer. And there's the proof right there. And they're both same kind of channels. They're both censorship channels. So they probably get along good because they both censor all their comments out, right? So they're just uh, egotistical guys and very thin-skinned and... They just censor out comments. They want to make themselves look good. They can't handle anything that's a little bit shaky or whatever. They just can't handle that. So thank you for your time, you guys, and we'll talk again soon.